tale of two painters takes place in the second floor hallway at the customs house. Two painters are painting one portion of a wall. And as one painter is painting, he sees in his wet paint the word murder slowly being spelled. And Sharky tries to cover that word up with more paint, but still it persists and seeps back through. He calls over his friend to see what he is seeing before his eyes. But by the time he does, that word, murder, had erased itself. Yeah, it feels somebody go around the corner. Just around the corner there. Look at the lady. Yes. Guess what? Pardon? Yes, she's gonna hurt us or somebody else. She is? She's afraid of you. She thinks you're gonna send her away. We're not gonna send you away. Another event that this construction crew endured involved screws. The carpenters needed more supplies, so they went downstairs in search of more screws. As they went into the room where they were kept, they looked about and could not find the boxes that they should be in. It wasn't until one of those men peered down to the floor that he found the screws. But it's not where the screws were found that is important. It's their position. For as the men gazed down upon the floor beneath them, they saw the screws spelling out words such as death, murder, kill, and so forth. One of many events that this construction crew would endure during their time here at the customs house. Should we go see our man's book in the attic? You really want to? <laughs> second floor for it to come here, right? Yeah. If, yeah. Those, if those people down below were using it, it would have just stayed down there. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take the elevator up to the attic? No. You're out of the stairs? Okay. All right. All right. You want to go and see what happens? When we come back, the paranormal team makes contact with the spirits. Many events also take place to people whom just visit this customs house such as that of a woman. She came into the lobby, and on the main staircase she saw a girl seated, battered and bruised. She went over to the young girl to see what was wrong, but before she could make it there, that girl disappeared. That night she has a dream. She's back here at the customs house, except this time down in the basement she sees that same girl standing alone in a room, bruised and beaten still. And then from behind her, a man begins to attack her. The woman having this dream intervenes. She is then tackled by the man where she wakes up.
You can actually do anything to hurt any one of us. You're that powerful. She can. investigation where something fell on me when I asked it to, so I'm impressed. We know nobody hit the button on the elevator, so that's interesting that it showed up at our floor. This has been a lot more colorful. I mean, when I go on investigations, we do the same sort of routine, walking around asking for signs, sensing what's there. Mm -hmm. um, we've never Very had difficult. such obvious manifestations. The Hamilton Customs House has suffered fire and flood and an assortment of tenants. But throughout its history, it has been home to the phantom spirits of its past.